And the first band I thought of was the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Uh, I've been a fan of theirs for such a long time. I admire their career. And after sitting down, I sat down with Flea. The Super Bowl was not so super, with the Denver Broncos losing to the Seattle Seahawks in the 48th installment of the American Football Championship game by the final score of 43-8. to The contest was one of the most lopsided in Super Bowl history, but thankfully the talented Bruno Mars and the Red Hot Chili Peppers added some spice to halftime. With the Seahawks already beating the Broncos 22 to nothing at halftime, Morris came out with a children's chorus singing Millionaire, slamming on a drum solo before launching into his hit, Locked Out of Heaven. The highlight of the performance, however, was the appearance of the Red Hot Chili Peppers with a shirtless Anthony Kiedis taking over for Bruno Mars, who kicked it into high gear with Give It Away. With the big game being in the New York area at MetLife Stadium in New Jersey, it brought the stars out in full force to watch the game, including Paul McCartney and his wife Nancy Chevelle, Michael Douglas, Hugh Jackman, and Macklemore, who was ferried back and forth to the big game via the Seahawks plane. As expected, the NFL finally called on a seasoned professional for the national anthem, and opera star Renee Fleming did a flawless job of starting the game after so many pop stars have flubbed the Star Spangled Banner in the past. The Fox TV telecast's viewership was said to be down slightly from last year's nail-biter between the Baltimore Ravens and San Francisco 49ers. This year's contest scored a 47.6 household rating 70 share, down slightly from last year's record-setting 48.1 71 share of TV households.